Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's experiment is the Mapenda effect. Does hot water freeze faster than cold water? As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is cups, water, th thermometer, and a freezer. So to set up this experiment, I'm going to use two different kinds of water, regular water and distilled water. I'm going to put the same amount of water in each one, and I'm going to take the temperatures of each of those. So we have a starting base, and then I'm going to record the temperatures as we go forward to see how that affects the water on there. So in here in the regular water, it's 19 Celsius, 66 Fahrenheit for the water. And then we're going to do, I, I boil some water and then uh, let it sit out for a little bit. So it cooled down just a tad. And then I uh, did the measurement here too to get the exact temperatures uh, for uh, each of the waters. So I'm going to do this for every all four uh to the regulars uh, and to the distilled, uh, 69 degrees uh, Fahrenheit there. And so now the distilled water, we're going to do cold and warm. As I continue to take the baseline for the distilled cold and hot, which I'll show you as I go in there, we want to talk about why hot water seems to freeze faster than cold water. And this is known as the Mapenda effect. The effect was named after a student who in 1963 noticed that hot ice cream mix froze faster than the cold ones. He wanted to get spa space in, in the freezer, so he wanted to be the first one to get there before it ran out of space. He put it in really hot, and it actually froze before all the other ice cream mixes fr uh, froze. Therefore, we came up with his last name, the Mapenda Effect. So here we are uh, te te checking the temperatures. This is the still cold water. You can see it barely dropped a little bit, not as much as the hot waters, the distilled hot water here. Uh, dropped dr drastically and same with the regular hot water as you'll see as we get there um, it really came down really fast therefore maybe this uh, myth about hot water seems to freeze faster than cold water might be true we'll soon find out uh, but you can see here the hot water declined down 61 Fahrenheit 34 Celsius where the cold water barely dropped at all and we'll check on the other two and you can see they're, they're dropping drastically same here 79 Fahrenheit 44 Celsius just in 15 minutes and we'll keep monitoring this. Theories for the Mapenda effect have include faster evaporation of hot water, uh, therefore reducing the volume left to freeze, good point. Information frozen layers on cold water. You can see here we already see the hot water has evaporated a lot more water than the cold waters, which makes sense why it might freeze faster. Uh, insulating it, the different concentrations of, of, of solutions like uh, the gases that are in there and how that affects um, how fast they, they uh, actually will freeze. So here we are after a couple hours and so I'm taking it out and the regular cold um, has a good amount of water there frozen on the top um, and there's some a little bit of, uh, of ice coming out and there's air bubbles in the lid so I mean, it did an okay job, but uh, we'll see how we go with the, the rest of them here. Um, so now we got the distilled cold. So we're doing both the colds first. Uh, get that cracked open and pull it out. And uh, it looks a little bit more down the sides there. Um, so it's a little bit more uh, frozen than the regular cold water that we had out first. And so um, there's the distilled cold. Therefore... Um, was it the cold? Now we're going to distill the hot. So we'll see if that makes any difference here. We're pulling it out and um, it looks just about the same. Maybe just a tad, you know, short of what the, the still cold was. But that's pretty close, uh, making that hot water going a little bit quicker. So here's the last one, the regular hot water. Uh, we're going to pull that out and um, it seems like it... Yeah, pretty good. It's almost even as with the, the cold, and therefore it does seem like the hot water froze just as much as the cold water. I don't know if it was faster, but um, pretty amazing that it, it uh, went that quick um, and froze. So our experiment pretty much came out that, you know, they all kind of froze at the same time, and it doesn't always happen every time, so... This is something that still puzzles scientists. They're still baffled, in fact, and they're still struggling to prove this effect exists. The phenomena of hot water freezing faster than cold water is something that's still going underneath a scientific uh, study. 
and it all goes down. They're looking into the hot water, you know, loses more water molecules and evaporation. So there's less for it to freeze, more dissolved gases in the cold water. And so the researchers predict that the cold, the, this could play a role in cooling rates, and, and, and but they're not clear on that. And the idea of warm water might cool faster due to increased convection currents circling around. So I find it weird that after all these observations, we still have so much to learn about the basic freezing of water. So science is so awesome. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and please click thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks for watching.